So basically the brewing process starts with this, which is malted barley. What we're after as brewers is the fermentable sugars within the malted barley. So at first it's, it's a starch and through the right use of water temperature and pH, we're able to break the starch down into fermentable sugar, which is maltose. The very first process is to, to add a specific temperature of water with the malted barley that has been cracked and to begin to extract the fermentable sugars out of the barley. And the brew kettle is the next vessel where the wort is boiled and that's where we, we add the hops. The hops will provide a bitterness that counterbalance the sweetness provided by the sugar. Once the boil is complete, we send it into the third vessel, which is the whirlpool, and it spins very fast, and all the particles gather kind of in the center of the whirlpool and drop out. Once they drop out, we're able to um, pull the liquid out of the whirlpool and send it to the fermenter. But in order for the yeast to survive and be active, we need to get the wort to room temperature. So it passes through this wort chiller, which drops it in temperature. Once it's in the fermenter and the yeast has been added, the yeast basically swims around and consumes as much, as that, as much of the fermentable sugar that we developed in the mash tun. Um, when the yeast is swimming around and actively consuming the fermentable sugar, its byproduct then becomes alcohol and CO2. And then within two weeks from now, this fermenter will be filtered and then ready for consumption. Um, after the filter, it can either be put in kegs, cans, or bottles.